Well, the alternative is to. Whoa! Fuck! Is to. Whoa! Fuck! Is to. Whoa! Fuck! That was scary. Are you still alive? Yep. Um, all I heard was whoa and giant cloud smoke. <laughs> we are so totally going viral tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, uh, what happened? You just burned the table. Yeah. What is that? Sparks? Burn from um, I accidentally shorted it, yes. I should not have done this. Uh, I need to get the wires further away from each other. I'm not this scared, is I'm very not scared. scared. I'm not scared. This is Ooh. very... Okay! <laughs> this is quite scary. Okay, uh... How do you cut wires on this thing without, without, without shorting it? Maybe that's what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> okay. I will cut them one at a time. A bit late for that, right? <laughs> it was very momentary. I hope that that. The, table and almost killed us <laughs> the battery is still cold. Oh, the hiding behind the white but the sparks. Yeah, well, who cares about the sparks? I hope. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god. Okay. Uh, yeah. No more desoldering of this crap. I'm just gonna cut cut wires. Yep. Enough of that. Okay. Hey, eh? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Whoa, shit. This is. This is like melty still. Okay. I'll just let it cool down for a bit. Oh, I just realized my soldering iron was damn close to lithium ion cells. Yep, this is bad. Lithium ion cells. <sighs> okay, so um, I have two options. One is to solder back this connector on. Fortunately, I cannot remember which side goes where. Unfortunately. Yeah, well. Um, Alright, we have bag of more toys from Ezekiel. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> we have this. No, not this. Um, okay. Uh -huh. How shall I stick this together? Let me get the other side of the container. How long did that arc for? I, I hope it wasn't too long. A good thing nothing caught on fire. Ah! The table. That's just charring, it's not actual fire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this will have to go in like that, and the wires will have to go through this thing. Yeah. Whip it up so people can see it. Hmm? <laughs> what has to go through where? It has to go through here. And somehow get over there. <laughs> somehow. Hmm. So, are the connectors long enough? Hmm. Okay. What do you need? Do you need help with no. They are non dangerous. <laughs> uh huh. I can actually get a connector on. Yeah, I have the other half of that connector somewhere in a box. This side is the scary one. To get it onto this XT60 connector. Huh. Maybe I should harvest it off this 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 battery since it's dead. Uh, I'm trying to figure out whether I should chop this cable or whether I should solder this connector back on and just use it like that. Because this was an external battery, right? So, yeah. Or I could just chop it off this and, well, just solder onto these wires. Which is actually reasonable as well. Hmm. Which is the least dangerous option? I don't know. Um, it's more of a when it crashes, what happens kind of thing. Well, these wires didn't char even when you when you burnt the rest of the unicycle. I think it should be fine. Oh, yeah. Cut one of them. Cut the wires one by one. Chop and 
shop. Okay. XT60 goes here, plugs in here, and new board is. Uh, Is it the correct polarity? Yeah. Okay. I think these XT60s are good made. It. Oh, nice! But you need the thing later, right? To put it back in, yes. Slowly, slowly. Hmm. Never mind, we'll just. We'll, 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 it's, it's good to have it. Yeah, it's still good to have it. Yeah. Question. Do we have design. bicycle pump? Yes. Oh, yeah, thank God. <laughs> because uh, Robert took his bicycle pump home a few times, and then uh, there was that that day that I let out the air from the air wheel because I needed to realign the the the, the this this tube inlet thing, and. Okay, let's make a separate YouTube video on how to take out a tire without the tool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how do you do it? You need two screwdrivers. So and you just a lot of strength? No, no, you don't need strength. You push this in, right? So this thing is flat, right? Push it in, you twist it, and then it pushes up. Push this in further, twist it up. Just do it all around the whole ring, then it comes up. Oh, okay. I was trying to do it with the... You just push it in flat, right? So you twist this, and then this pushes the thing up a bit. Yeah. Then you pop it up by pushing this behind. Uh -huh. And then just keep going. Okay, is I'm this big enough? No, this is too small. Shit. We might not have heat shrink! Oh, shit! There is, um... This man brought an entire bag of heat shrink. Really? Where? Yeah. Where? Where? It's in the there's somewhere in the bottom there's a bag. It's just for heat shrink. Nice! Very nice! But this is the wrong sort. Oh, this this might work. Let's send to DJ. Okay. So we have heat shrink. Let's graph this connector on. This looks quite scary. Wire is bending quite scary. I hope this doesn't break. I think I know why the other guys are so cute. Because they were one guy. There <laughs> were like four guys on team to be able to put this in. Actually, you just need Adrian. No, I'm just kidding. Huh? Still yeah, actually, you just need Adrian. It's not even a strength thing. So. Please tell me I'm not cutting into, cu into wire here. Oh my god. I wish I can disconnect the other side. This is fucking scary. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think I've peeled back the conductor a bit, just a bit. Is there blood? There's no blood. Mm, there is blood. Hey, Adrian, could you help me uh, measure the, di the, the inner diameter of the hole on this, on the hex wrench thing? Because I need a lot of torque on that. Wait. Where is the hex wrench socket? Inner diameter on what? Uh, where's the hex wrench socket? Do you know where it is? Should be somewhere on the table, I think. This is this is a special one. You need torque from both sides, like a wheel. Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was here just now. Uh, ah, here it is. Can you measure the whole this 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 whole diameter? Both of them. The, the top and bottom one. And then uh, ask CJ if you can find anything that's like a, a, a long steel rod of that, that's about that diameter. If it's too expensive, never mind. I'll just use a threaded rod. I, I need 78... No, was it 78? Something like 18 Newton meters of, for, uh, of torque. Oh, you just use a freaking screwdriver. No, um, I need something about this long. I, I need something about this long from both sides. So something like this, this length. Then I can pull it like... Uh, I'll just use the threaded rod then. You put a bit of extra strength. Okay. We have a bit of wire length from here, a bit of wire length. Let's cut this side. Oh my god! I will solder one at a time. Yeah. No, I mean, if I if I strip both of them, they're just gonna touch again, right? And then it's going to like spark like hell. This is 60 volts, right? So it doesn't even need to get that close. These wires are really thin. Oh my god! I just stripped both of them again! Oh my god, I'm fucking scared. Um, let, let's tape this. Okay, now uh, let's... Whew. One of this length and one of another length. 
Oh, these wires are really thick, and those wires are really thin. <laughs> what should I graph this on? Uh, should I strip a bit more length? I'm probably the leading user of plasters. Okay. Um. Battery is there. Masking tape. Let's just flux this thing up. Do we have flux? Shit, I think my flux dried up. Oh, there is a bit of flux. Okay, tinder leads. Ah, fuck, so the ball. Oh shit. It's not tinning! But I hate these large wires. Oh god, come on. Just get on the damn copper. Come on, bring down. Let me make the best one. Oh my god. I think the heat shrink has shrunk. That's suck at this. Oh my god, the heat shrink has shrunk. Please tell me it hasn't. Oh god. Off. Get off the heat drink. Put some more. Push it all the way back. Push it all the way back. Okay, battery. Okay, this should be easier. Let's tin this thing. Okay. Yay! Tinning thin wires is so much easier. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Nice fat solder joint. Uh, maybe not fat enough. I'm just gonna bring this all the way up. Just in case. That's okay. Not a bit of the conductor. I mean the, the insulator. Hopefully that makes it slightly stronger. Fuck. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Good. Uh, I'm not sure I need to immediately flame this thing, but yeah, maybe I can leave the flaming to later. Okay, now I can work on the other side. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. I shouldn't have used masking tape. Old oh, masking tape sucks. down here take this down here uh, okay this one put this put side first this one put here okay let us tin this side okay tinned the wire 
now you can start soldering. This can push the sleeve down, I think. Please tell me it goes over. Okay, it does. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. It doesn't. Oh, shit. Okay. And uh, let's just push this up again. Whoa! Why did it spark? Oh my god. Are you serious? There's already a hole in the in the in, in the insulation. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. I'm just going to patch this with electrical tape. I mean, Captain tape. Captain Kept on. Um, how do we do this? I think I'll just try and get this one first. Okay. Can I? Somehow fit over this thing, please. Oh god! Oh shit, no! Oh god! It just cut through this thing. Can I use better cubes? I am not sure how to. Do we have that galvanized rubber tape? Where the hell is it? Oh yes, we do. It's fantastic. Yes, this will do. Okay, pool. Okay, can you walk over there uh, where the cupboard is and get me a pair of scissors? Alright. Fire! Dare I? 